it has come to my notice that a lot of you are losing your edges and you don't know why so i'm here to tell you why you're losing your edges anyway guys just kidding if you're having thin hair or thin edges or you've lost your edges yeah it's a video you want to watch hey guys welcome back to my channel anastasi here yeah, so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys five things that i did to grow back my edges so my edges have not always been great and there was an incident that happened that almost took off all of my edges so this girl did a braid style for me and my edges came off like the braid came off with my edges i'm going to insert the picture somewhere here on both sides it took a very long time for that section to grow i think the area was traumatized like the fact it really came out like it pulled out all of my head it was a very sad situation and from there i decided that i'm never going to allow anybody to touch my hair again anyway that's a story for another video but yeah i'm going to share with you guys five things that i did to grow back my edges so before we get into the video if this is your first time stopping by or seeing my face please make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video and if you're returning thank you so much i really appreciate all your support so the first thing i did was to moisturize and massage my edges yeah i always make my fenugreek spritz I have a video on that on my channel i'm going to link it in the description box i spritz my hair with it and then i go in with my ayurveda hair growth oil i apply it to my edges and then i massage it i think massages are underrated a lot of people don't bother to do that it's not easy but it's very necessary because it helps with blood circulation to your scalp and that will promote hair growth and all that so make sure you take out even five minutes every day to massage your edges if your edges are thin or if you've lost your edges i think doing that is going to help a lot that's what helped me fenugreek spritz ayurvedic hair growth oil and then i massage it for like five minutes some days you might not feel like doing it but just try it's better to be bored massaging your scalp than to have bald edges the second thing i did is to stop wearing satin bonnet i know with this point a lot of you are going to be like huh don't come for me that's just what worked for me i know we've been told a lot to wear your satin scarf wear your satin bonnet and all that stuff i don't wear it personally because i realized that that stuff on my edges and when i sleep at night it kind of moves around a lot that disturbs your edges like i don't think it's beneficial for me so i don't sleep in a satin bonnet or a satin scarf or whatever. so yeah i don't sleep with a satin bonnet because it disturbs my edges before you even wake up maybe sometimes the scarf is out and like all that movement around your edges some are even very tight some that you can actually regulate like you tie it loosely but at the end of the day i still feel like the fact that it moves like it's it's up it affects your edges to me so i realized that when i was wearing satin bonnet just made my edges very thin so i stopped wearing satin bonnet to sleep i prefer a satin pillowcase just sleep with your hair like that on your satin pillowcase that's for those who use pillows for those like me who don't sleep on pillows and i don't wear satin bonnet i have some other things that i do i have my I'll call it my satin mini bed sheet. It's just for the top part of my bed. So I put that on at night and I sleep on it. So I'm able to roll from one end to the other without any issues. Yeah, so I don't use a satin bonnet. That's a no for me. I don't use a satin pillowcase, obviously, because I don't sleep on pillows. So I have my satin mini bed sheet so yeah that's another thing that helped me a lot the third thing that helped me is to avoid wearing these senegalese braids or micro braids and just very tight braids in general i see some people play their hair 
and like the edges in fact there are no edges they braid every little hair that's good your edges are very fragile that's going to basically break off your edges with those kind of styles that's what the lady did to my hair and my edges disappeared so from that day i was like no nobody's ever going to touch my hair i'm going to learn how to do my own hair and that's where the journey started so yeah i avoided all those mini braids senegalese tight braids whatever so you better stop all those ties that are detrimental to your edges okay the fourth point you know i love my puffs and always pulling my hair oh, that's a lazy style like when i don't feel like doing my hair which is most of the time i always put it in the puff so the one thing i stopped doing was to always put up my hair in a puff like in the same direction if you're going to do a puff or a ponytail you don't want to put your hair in the same direction like every time this is going to keep putting more pressure on your edges and are going to break up so you want to make sure you're changing even when you part your hair you're changing the side if you keep pulling your hair in the same direction you're going to cause the edges to be very weak and then are going to break off the feet and the last thing that i did was to wear wigs less for me that's my favorite protective style but you don't want to overdo it especially for those who use glue you put glue before you wear your wig that's a no-no for me i've never done that i'll never do that the issue also with the wigs is those clips every day you wear a wig you clip so um a lady was telling me one time about her edges disappearing because of the clips so yeah that can actually happen you can lose your edges by just wearing a wig every single day those clips even if you're not using glue those clips that you have to clip it like every time there's an action going on that particular spot my dear you're going to lose your edges so try to reduce the rate at which you wear wigs that's all i'm saying like wigs are not bad but you have to just like you don't have to keep pulling your hair in the same direction you have to maybe have a break so because every time you're putting on a wig you're pinning those clips into your hair every time and you know this ends will definitely thin out so you don't want that so you should advise you wear your wigs less Thank you guys for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and please if you liked it please give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification and i'll see you in my next video bye